Hello, hello, welcome back to Red Ted Art. Today we're going to be making rainbow cookies. Come on then, let's get started. So I love this recipe because it's really easy and it has no eggs. Um, you will need butter, uh, some plain flour, which you can see here, and some sugar in this bag. So you can't see them as I'm doing them, but you'll see me putting them in. Now the recipe is really, and you also need some food coloring, obviously. So what you need is, is you need 300 grams of flour, 200 grams of um, butter and 100 grams of sugar so it's a really easy recipe to remember now below i'm going to write that down but i'm also going to give you the us measurements which obviously come in cups but if like me you do uh you know grams then um 300 200 100 is super easy to remember there you go 301 now I'm going to add um, 200 grams of butter. On English butter, quite often you see grams written along here, which means you can just chop it and you know exactly where 200 grams is. Because I had 300 grams worth of flour already. If I add 200 grams worth of butter, that should bring me up to 500. Now this butter has been out, so it's at room temperature. You don't want it to be uh, too soft. Today's a really warm day because if it's too soft, um, then it'll make a really sticky dough and you don't want that. Now I want a hundred grams of flour. I've just reset my counter because I thought it's a bit easier. Which should bring us to either 600 in total or just 100. This is not flour, this is sugar. I'm not even making sense. And now I remove it and you give it a good mix. I'm gonna mix this up and then we'll continue. see we have a nice smooth dough now if you're having problems getting the dough this smooth it could be that your butter was too hard or too soft and then it gets sticky if it's too hard you can add a little bit of milk and that can help if it's too sticky just add a little bit of flour now I'm gonna break it up into six pieces oh, I just wanted to check the weight and basically because we had 600 grams worth of ingredients you're gonna need about um, 100 grams worth of ingredients per color So right, so now I've got roughly six blobs the same size, and I'm gonna add some food dye to each one. So like I said, I have all the rainbow colors, but you can um, use just red, blue, and yellow and mix them together to get the colors you need. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of blue. So this is super strong food dye that I've got um, called Sugar Flare. In the US you can get a similar one which is um, called Wilton, uh, they're both very good, we really like using them and they give the, you know, they do result in good colours. So this is a little bit the messy part. my six colors don't they look lovely now I just very quickly wanted to show you something just so that you really believe me I've got a bit of red here and I've got a little bit of yellow here actually maybe a bit less red a bit more yellow and I just wanted to show you that if I mix these up you get orange look at that can you see the orange already coming through it's very similar to that orange isn't it I think it's so cool color theory so you know you don't need to have all the colors to make your own colors Look, and I'm going to try it over here as well. A little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow. 
and then let's mix it up isn't that cool look can you see the green coming through this is just so fun so this is a really fun way of exploring how colors work isn't that cool love it it's just the best thing ever um, and also it means that you don't have to buy six food colors you can actually just buy three and make your own if you need to in fact i'm just going to squish it on so you'll need some flour on the surface especially because my surface is quite sticky and then you need to roll out each color in a long thin line so we're just going to make rectangular biscuits because those are the easiest but of course you can um, use heart cookie cutters and cut them out um, you can use um, you know you can uh, try and curve them a little bit to make them into a rainbow shape you know do whatever sort of shape you fancy so we're just going to roll it out long and thin so you saw I've put lots of flour down because that will help um, with not making the cookies stick again this is not doesn't have to be super neat it's oh it's already falling apart a bit that's because I've added more flour so like I say it doesn't have to be super neat it's enough to just gently roll them out I think that will do so now you have to follow the colors of the rainbow generally you start with red then you go to yellow and again I'm going to cook make some space and then roll out the yellow oh you know what I don't need yellow I need orange next let's get the orange <laughs> gee right let's just do it a bit quicker this time this is the quick version this is the version that we like to do we just go like that we'll make it nice and long and then you start flattening it now be careful not to flatten it too much because obviously then you won't be able to get the red off the um you know off the, the, the table in a minute. my six colors now you need to preheat the oven to 180 degrees look at this cut it very gently <gasps> oh this is so exciting look at that oh my goodness aren't they lovely so I'm going to cut them put them on a tray in the fridge and then in the oven Aren't they beautiful? What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a knife just to shape them a bit to make them nice perfect rectangles and then they'll be ready to go. beauty guess who will want to eat that yes I think pipsqueak isn't that gorgeous so here they are finished don't they look amazing I think that is my favorite and I can't wait to eat them now remember big thumbs up like the channel comment down below and see you here again soon <laughs>